Howdy! My name is Kelly Johnson and I work with the PEER program at the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences here at Texas A&M University. And we've put together a series of training videos to help you with your educational endeavors. So today, two of our veterinarian technicians here at the vet school, Delisa Ryland and Dana Smith, are going to demonstrate the procedures for collecting a fecal sample with their assistant Vaughn. And to learn more about Vaughn's story, check out the end of the video. First, we're going to talk about collecting a fecal sample. Um, collecting a fecal sample is very important uh, in maintaining uh, the health of our patient because many of our, the parasites that attack our patients attack the intestines. So if we were able to obtain a fecal sample, then we were able, are able to identify those intestinal parasites and then treat them. So if our patient comes in and the owner has collected a sample on their morning walk that morning and brings it to us, we can analyze their, their uh, fecal sample that way, or we can obtain one whenever they get to the office. In order to do that, we have a fecal loop, and we are going to um, get a sample from our patient, and then we can uh, analyze that sample after it's obtained. So we need someone to restrain the patient's head and make sure they don't jump off the table. And we obtain our fecal sample. And then once we have our sample, you're a good boy. Always praise your patient for being good. We can place our sample into a cup and use some flotation solution. And we will float the sample in the flotation solution. And on top of our flotation cup, we can place a cover slip from a microscope slide, place that on top. We let that sit for 10 minutes. And as it sits, that flotation solution will allow the, the eggs of all the intestinal parasites, if they, your patient does have any, to rise to the top and attach themselves to that slide. You can then place that mi the cover slip onto a slide, look at it under a microscope and then identify any intestinal parasites that your patient might have. This is Vaughn. Uh, Vaughn was found by a Good Samaritan here in College Station about two or three months ago. He was found badly burned over most of his body, here on the left side of his body. Um, it appeared as though someone had uh, doused him in lighter fluid and set him on fire. Uh, Good Samaritan brought him to a local veterinary clinic and then they called Texas A&M and asked if we would be able to help in his care. Um, so one of our doctors, Dr. Barr, went over and picked up Vaughn and brought him over here to us. And he went through a long and, and uh, arduous process of getting better. Um, he received a lot of medications, a lot of antibiotics, a lot of um, fresh frozen plasma was delivered to him. Uh, Vaughn was very sick for a while. Um, but once he started to get better, he is just a puppy. He's only about six or eight months old. Um, he is a pit bull, um, but he's got the greatest personality, um, even with everything that he's been through. Um, Vaughn um, continues to, to spread joy wherever he goes. He's a very happy boy. Um, as you can see, he was burned over this entire left side of his body. He's still got some injuries that haven't healed completely, even after a couple of months of treatment. Um, but he is starting to grow a little bit of hair back. and. Um, he is always happy to see anyone that walks by. He loves to play with other dogs. He loves every person that he comes into contact with. He really is a, a great dog and very brave. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. And on behalf of the entire peer team, we wish you the best of luck with your educational endeavors. Don't forget to check out our website at peer.tamu.edu for other training videos and free resources. Thanks again, and we hope to see you soon.